Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of May 22nd through the 29th. As we round out the end of the month, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Thank you all for all the love and support. Apologies if I sound a little tired. I've been recording all day and I'm trying to finish these up for you guys. So let's tap into your weekly reading. What is the energy for you guys for the week ahead? Beautiful to see two aces. A couple of the signs got two aces as well. I don't recall just yet, but if you check out your moon rising and Venus signs, you might just stumble across that reading. If you are new to me, welcome. I appreciate having you guys here. Remember, everyone, make sure that your notifications are turned on when you subscribe so you get notified of all the new readings as well as when I go live. I'm going to go live on a weekly basis at least once a week. If you are interested in booking a personal reading in the description box below, you will find the link tree link to booking a personal reading through Zoom or uh, through my Etsy shop. There's only a few appointments left for this month. If you are interested in a live Zoom call with me, Reiki or coaching, um, and I probably won't open those back up until like mid-June to the end of June, maybe even July, depending on my schedule. But in the meantime, you can check out my recorded readings listing uh, for my Etsy shop. And if you don't see the type of reading that you'd like, just send me a message on Etsy and I will create a custom listing for you. So let's get to it. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Remember to check out your moon, rising, and Venus signs as well to get a bigger picture of what the week ahead is coming up. Um, you start off with the page of cups, eight of cups, and eight of pentacles. Um, two eights right off the bat. 888 eight, eight may be significant for you, especially in the workplace, work environment. Um, I feel like there has been a lot of progress that's been made, a lot of clarity and communication. Uh, I feel like somebody here is definitely clearing the air when it comes to certain things in the workplace. The Hanged Man, the Sun card, and the Six of Wands is your outcome. Uh, so here we go. Should feel like a little bit of a routine energy for the week ahead. I feel as though some of you are walking away from people, places, things, situations, especially in the workplace. People that are uh, maybe speaking about you, people that are maybe trying to befriend you. I do feel like this could be a way for them to really try to gain some sort of um, friendship or tie to you. I feel like um, name dropping happens. I feel like uh, they try to make it seem as though they have associations with you. Uh, I feel like this is someone that more or less acts very young and immature. Page of Cups, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. I just feel like this is someone who really wants to be your friend. Uh, I don't feel like you want to though, because the eight of cups has their back to them. The eight of eight of pentacles is too busy working to focus on any type of offer that comes in, whether in love or friendship or otherwise. King of swords, ace of swords means you may be the one that comes off a little sharp tongued by putting somebody in their place or communicating in a way that kind of throws them off. Uh, is, and, and again, I do feel like this is in the workplace. Um, this isn't necessarily feeling like a love thing, but if it is in a work, love situation, romantic or a family home life, this feels like maybe someone younger trying to appease you, really trying to uh, earn your trust again. This could be like a child who's grounded. This could be, um, you know, a friend, a family member who's trying to get in your good graces and you're just like sick and tired of their shenanigans. And you're just like, let me do me. I, I don't want to hear it. I'm done. You know, King of Swords and Ace of Swords is really going to, you know, communicate to them that they're just not having it. They're fed up. They're definitely going to use that sword and put into action. Now, you know, King of Swords, I associate with Gemini. So you can have Gemini in your chart or Gemini may be someone that you are dealing with. In this case, because it is a general reading, it could be your energy 
with that ace of swords it, just apply it to your situation i also feel like if you are with a gemini they may come to you letting you know that you know ace of swords ace of pentacles news like type of news right i've got a new job i've got a new career i've got um i've received communication that i'm up for a promotion i've received a communication that i'm going to be placed elsewhere or i've got like a better high-end paying job especially if someone here is in sales or picking up contracts I do feel like if somebody here is in sales you'll hear communication or they will receive communication about a specific contract uh, in any case money in the workplace working towards something that has a huge payout uh, finally being acknowledged and recognized in the workplace. I feel like some of you may, maybe it's been a while since you've had a little extra money in your pocket. I feel like that's coming towards you as well. Um, everything is feeling like, um, this is a week of news, a week of news and, you know, I feel like there is some news that comes your way that you're just not sure how to move forward in. It's, and nothing feels bad about this week at all. Again, I just feel like this is kind of a normal or a blah type of week, which, you know, most cases should feel great. You don't want any kind of drama, right? Uh, you do have the sun card here, okay? So some of you, if you're not in a place where you feel like it, you're at your most loved, your most appreciated, your most happy and joy, fulfillment, uh, I do feel like you have been reflecting on what changes you need to make, what paths do you need to, to take in order for you to feel more recognized, more appreciated, more acknowledged, more loved, more cared for, and just happiness and joy all around within yourself, within your family, your uh, employer, partnerships, whatever it may be. I, I just, as much, as much as I, I say it, it just, again, I don't feel like anything crazy or exciting for you this week. Um, and again, that's a good thing. You don't, you don't necessarily want to look forward to any craziness, but what is the most important message Aquarius has for the week ahead? Are they expecting news? Cause I'm hearing that you may be expecting to receive news of some sort. What kind of news is Aquarius expecting to receive? Uh, magician card. So if you are thinking of embarking on a new journey, put it in an application somewhere. If you are thinking of starting a new business, getting funding, uh, again, money is going to look really, really positive, really good uh, in the next coming weeks. Uh, it's definitely going to, yeah, see Queen of Pentacles. This is you in your practicality, Queen of Pentacles, uh, knowing how to manifest and create the life she wants with the money she has. Um, definitely feels like there is a substantial amount of money that will be coming your way very soon. I feel like you already know how you're going to use this. Uh, and this is going to, I feel, use towards, you know, something very, very, I just feel like it's going to make you very happy to spend it on your family or on someone special in your life. I also feel like you're not going to use it all, but you know, that's definitely come. Yeah. See, you're not going to use it all. Cause I feel like you're going to make some pretty wise investments. Uh, we've got two nines here, two eights. So that's very important as well. If you have been feeling like money has been in, in a bit of a crunch or a pinch, this is why I'm feeling like, oh, give me one moment. Okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Have a little bit of a dryness on my throat with my allergies right now, so... Uh, as I was saying, I, I, if you have been experience a little, experiencing a little bit of tightness in the wallet, trying to, um, you know, spread the wealth, trying to make ends meet, trying not to overspend and being smart with your money, um, and, and you felt the, the pinch in the last few months or weeks, I feel like you're about to feel a nice loosening of the belt, loosening of the wallet, a nice release. I feel like some of you are already knowing that this money is coming your way and you're just kind of expecting it to come, but you're just not sure when. I feel like you will know this week when that money is coming your way, when it's coming to you. So five of cups and nine of wands. There is a bit of a disappointment energy here. 
so, you know, if it's money coming your way and you feel like you've worked your ass off and you really need some money, like the here and now, uh, I feel like the money that you do get for some of you, you will be slightly disappointed and not because it's a bad amount because it doesn't feel like it's, you know, a small amount, but it, it feels as though you were expecting more. And so be careful not to come uh, across uh, ungrateful. Uh, don't obviously don't bite the hand that feeds you. Um, you know, five of cups, nine of wands, uh, seven of pentacles. This is like, I've done so much work and for what you pay me and you think that a certificate or a recognition is going to get me somewhere, but I need more money. I need, you know, growth and, uh, in my finances. And when is that coming? <laughs> you know, um, when can, uh, Aquarius, expect that money to come in it, it's in a bit of a standstill right now yeah i feel like it's still in review so you know the money's coming uh it, everything is at a standstill at the moment right now there are other factors at play it's in review before somebody makes the final decision of when to pay so Keep that in mind. It could be, you know, uh, within the summer months. I know that that sounds kind of far away, but it's actually around the corner <laughs> as we're about to go into the month of June. You know what I mean? Uh, so we're about to embark in June, so in the, into the summer. So here we go. Angel Oracle. Eight of Earth, which is uh, the Eight of Pentacles. I told you, 888. Six of Earth, which is the Six of Pentacles, Ace of Water, beautiful, Ace of Cups, and one more, <laughs> Nine of Earth, which is right here, Nine of Pentacles. Uh, this deck has been great at bringing out, you know, the same cards, reinforcing messages. Um, eight of Earth, skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic and going back to school. Six of Earth is the Six of Pentacles. Gifts of money, time, or effort. New career opportunities. Receiving a loan or paying off debt. So, again, you know, if you receive that money sooner rather than later, I feel like you're going to pretty much put it to good use. I do see that things start to calm down in your environment if you've been stressed out or feeling, again, tight in the wallet, shortchanged. Um, I feel like you have a period of rest coming for you. You may be taking some time off. Uh, you may be going on a vacation. I definitely feel like it's much needed. Ace of water, falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. Beautiful. Nine of earth, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. So here are your repeated cards so that you can better see them. You have eight of earth twice and the nine of earth twice. And it's crazy because they were not back to back in the deck. So clearly the universe has those messages for you. And we have the magical messages from the fairies. Spiritual teacher, I want to say your mid-month had that message. I'll link it here. Make sure you check that out. The card of walk away. I cannot remember who else had that, that message. Maybe Gemini. I know Gemini had this in their mid-month. And one more. I kid you not, Aquarius, I want to say that you had these two in your mid-month, if you haven't checked it out. <sighs> Sorry for the glare, guys. I'm really trying to get a good angle here for you guys to see these pictures. Here we go, these cards. Spiritual teacher, your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. And healing, healed, and healer. Healing energy surrounds you and this situation. Some of you may need to walk away from something or someone or a certain situation. Leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. 
Uh, so if you are working in a toxic work environment, I do feel like you'll be walking away and, and um, looking into new opportunities, transfer, promotion, a different company altogether. Uh, I, I do feel like some of you are just finally walking away. You're fed up. Uh, goodbye to the old and hello to the new. You finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. Beautiful, beautiful energies for you guys. Again, this feels a little bit routine. No crazy excitement. If you've been waiting for word on money coming in, you will be receiving news or notification of that soon. Again, I kind of feel like you have somebody that really wants to befriend you and your workplace as well. Some of you are like dead set, really knowing that it is time to walk away from what no longer serves you. For some, it's a workplace environment. Others, it's friendships, uh, your inner circle, your partners. There is a situation that you know you need to walk away from. And it really will assist you and help you to move forward for your highest good. Aquarius, that is your reading. I am sending you guys so much love. Thank you guys so much for being here. Remember, if you'd like to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, double tap that bell to get notified of all the new readings and your playlist is here, your mid month is here, and I will see you guys very soon. I cannot wait to see what your June readings have in store for you. Take care. Bye.